Well, in order to help you feel safe, some people like to have extra protection to defend themselves. Joining us now is David Nance. He is the CEO of Sabre with some tips on what you can do if the unimaginable happens to you. Good morning to you, David. Good morning. Thanks for joining me. You know, I think a lot of people have seen all the crime in, in the news and such rising in the U.S. So if somebody is in an unthinkable situation and they have to defend themselves, for instance, we've seen joggers, female joggers. What are some things and tips that we can do to be more protected? Sure. So I think there's two things you can do. Uh, first, I have three tips of what you can do before to hopefully prevent it from occurring and then how to protect yourself in case it does eventually transpire. So number one, it is a relaxed 360 degree awareness engagement of what's happening um, off your iPhone, head up, shoulders back. You actually can intimidate a potential threat so they choose someone else, they skip over you. That's number one. Number two is you wanna keep a distance. When you're out by yourself, you want to keep a 12 foot distance between you and someone else more if you possibly can that gives you a little time to react because their action will always be faster than your reaction so give yourself a chance to react keep distance then so threats want to get closer to you there's a thing called a distraction technique so they'll start asking questions as they move towards you what time is it do you know how to get to so and so can I actually even use your phone? And we're kind of hardwired to be good people. We want to help them. But if you're by yourself and it doesn't feel right, keep that distance. Say, I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry and continue onward. So those are three, three safety tips that will help you in those scenarios. I really like that. I think about joggers and when someone's kind of coming towards you and you're passing. So it, are you saying maybe try and keep that distance in the middle? So if, if you are, yeah, if, if you have to, to basically go into the park or if, if there's no cars coming and you check and you and you are lit up and you have reflective gear and you look then if you if necessary yeah do that as well too but you can also change the direction that you're running in mm. if if you look ahead if you're moving pretty fast much faster than you are if you're walking and it doesn't feel right change change course I love that um, permission to trust our gut feelings because I think we do get spidey senses, you know, and so I think that's so important. I know that Sabre is the number one manufacturer of pepper sprays, and I wonder because I, I feel like, you know, we don't know, like, are, are, are pepper sprays the, a good first defense? Are they a second defense? Like, where do they fall into the play, and what should we know about them? So I, I arguably one of the most practical and safest ways to protect yourself in those type of scenarios, because they can protect you at a distance. Mm. They project mm. outwards and against more than one attacker. 25% of the time, according to the Bureau of Justice, there are multiple um, threats when you're in harm's way. So pepper spray gives you that ability. You, you know, just when you spray ear to ear, side to side, you can protect yourself against multiple threats. Um, these and pepper gel is really what I want your viewers to, to, to understand. Um, the advantage there is I know it's windy in Milwaukee. It's windy here in Chicago where I am off the lakefront. This um, reduces, if not almost eliminates completely any wind blowback. So hmm. it only affects what it directly contacts the target itself. That's going to allow you to take away their vision even if they're under the influence of drugs, alcohol, emotionally disturbed, they can't feel pain, it takes away their vision, gives you the opportunity to escape, and, it, and none of it comes into contact with you or your children, your loved ones that you're with. So pepper gel really is the most advanced form of pepper spray. It's something that is strongly recommended. It's used a lot by professionals, law enforcement, especially when they're in crowded areas like stadiums, uh, concerts, things of that nature, and they just want to affect that one target and not everyone else in the area. That's how it came about. And it's great for you when you're out running outdoors. Well, it sounds like it's a little more directed. So do you have to have a really good aim with pepper gel and about how much distance can it be used? So it deploys 12 feet, the smaller compact cans, the larger ones go up to 20. Um, the nice thing is they either come with finger grips, which ensure you're pointing it in the right direction. There's the finger grip right there. That's gonna ensure it's pointed in the right direction. Again, it's ear to ear across the eyes. Or if you're a runner, it's this hand strap. It's reflective, I'd mentioned that before. A car's light will shine, that will, will hit that, it'll light up. Um, and it's pointed in the right direction. Again, it's right here in your hand, so it's readily accessible, making it very easy and practical to use. I love that so much, David. I think that is such a great um, idea and, and information on us. What else can we use? Are there other things? I obviously see that there's tons of stuff behind you, but what other things are good to potentially have? 
A personal alarms are certainly an option. If you're a runner, I recommend a two-in-one personal alarm. So it, it serves two purposes. One, it's that light that's going to prevent collisions, you know, especially with vehicles, other runners, cyclists, when you're out and about so they can see you from a distance. Um, and then it also would have an alarm, a siren. So if you feel threatened, you can press that. It will call for help for people in the area. So that's kind of your entry level. That's your good form of safety. Then your next form, your better form is that pepper spray. And then best would be that pepper gel. Pepper gel gives you the opportunity to actually stop um a potential threat when you're in harm's way whereas the, the personal arm requires them to either be intimidated by the sound or call others to call to to your assistance the pepper gel actually allows you to stop them then there are things like stun guns um, where you actually have to go up and touch the attacker there are some restrictions um, in certain areas regarding those are harder to run with um, but some people do prefer them when they're when they're commuting are are, are for home defense as well but that's, I think, what makes pepper gel. And we provide all those products at Sabre, but that's what I think makes pepper gel the most practical. It's really easy to use. It's easy to carry. It's compact and provides that defense against multiple threats when you're in harm's way. I'm going to get some of that. I think it's a great thing, even just when you're walking around at night or, or whatnot. I love it. I have bear spray at my home, too, because it's got a nice little distance on it. 100%. So, yeah, these are great, David. I'm going to give the information where people can go to your website because I think you're going to draw Super. a lot of interest to some of the things you talked about. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. For more information, you can go to the website. It's saberred.com.